Sure, let's help him. But only because of what he might be able to do for us in return. Not because it's actually good to help people or anything. Water! Oh, here we go. Let's see. Moogle Eater. Well, that's just mean. Might as well aqua rake him. Awesome. Once again, I mean, it's like... I don't know what else to do with these guys at this point. Like, anything out here. Just throw rods at them all day. They got more HP than I'd care to deal with. I should have put in two Mystic Knights when I had a chance to. Like, back in the castle. But whatever. It's okay. Just have more people learning different things as time goes on here. So nothing in here, aside from a monster called Acrofeast, which is that guy right there, is susceptible to anything here, so... But you can still use this if you want, just to get rid of him at least. And then do the whatever you want to do about the rest of them, I guess it doesn't really matter. They're all level 29. Actually, one of them's level 23. I'm not sure which one it is. Well, that was easy. Yeah, I mean, at this point, hell, I might put Bards back in the front row, actually. Finding him pretty useful for... Him. Did I put the healing rod on Lena? Because I totally should have if I didn't. Oh, I can't change it now. I can't change anything. Oh, oh, well, this is good. This is actually really good because we already know these guys are level 30. Stop cutting me. Stop cutting my ass. What do you think you are, Genocide Chill? Wow. That's kind of buggy. <laughs> that looks a little strange there, if I'm not gonna lie. There. Alright, well, what was I doing here? Yeah, I get you with that healing rod there. Wait, who doesn't have Guardian anymore because of this? Who doesn't have Elf Cape anymore because of this? Ooh. Let me take a second look here. Might, yeah, yeah, you know what? I'm giving this to Gal, totally. A Mystic Knight that can dodge like wildfire? Man, I'd love it. I don't have to say I would love it, I should say I do love it, because that's what I have now! I don't have anybody equipped with a Guardian, but I'm not too sure. Go down the waterfall, that's gotta hurt. Making flashbacks of the Octoman battle here. A little bit. Uh-oh, should I? Wow, <laughs> just bash me into the wall, why don't you? Let me take a second look at something here. So you got blue. Do I really need everyone to have blue here? Because I kind of want another person to have terrain. And I could give that to Gallif. Yeah. Especially here in these caves. It's a pretty good terrain. Pretty good terrain attacks in the caves. Stalactite will probably do about 900 damage. Yeah, and apparently they can do Gale Cut down here, too, as evidenced by that last fight, which I'm not going to show. Well, I checked over there, and that's, like, legitimately a dead end there, so... Oh, well. Uh-oh, my left earbud is slipping out. Alright, there, try that again. Moogle! Oh, jeez. Koopow, Koopow! You're really going to hit me with a, a, a random battle in that short walk. Yeah, I want you to pick on somebody your own size, asshole. What do you think you're doing, asshole? I ain't gonna give you a chance, asshole. I'm gonna bring you back to life, asshole. Da 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 da. See how easy it is, Moogle? That's all you gotta do. Huh. You don't need to be afraid, it's alright. Come over here. Of course, the most beautiful one has to do it, you know. It makes you wonder, though, like, have they done experiments on animals to see if they, like, are more likely to trust people that society considers to be beautiful? And if that's the case, because it seems so natural that you would send the person who, you know, the pretty young girl as opposed to, like, the scruffy old man. No. Oh. Don't go in the desert, he says. Stay out of it. Because if it turned out that animals trust, you know, or judge people, you know, based on their looks, then it would be like, oh. 
You know, because I'm not saying it's right to do that. It's not. It's horrible. But at the same time, to deny that such an inclination exists within you in the first place, it's kind of a lie. I can live with the fact that I'm ugly, you know, and so can the rest of us. <laughs> well, how about we move on to a different discussion here? So yeah, you probably don't want to wander into the desert by accident here, because if you do, you're gonna get attacked by a sand crawler. And you know what? How about we do a quick demonstration here? That's a dead end anyway. We could just cut across, I suppose. I don't know how bad the encounter rate actually is. Oh, I guess it's not that bad. Well, hell! We could have just run straight across. No big deal. Well, here's the thing. Remember how I was saying before that Mystic Knight was about to get awesome? Well, get ready. This guy, I believe, has... Well, he's got that. So... But I have Break Blade. Which can one-shot kill him, so... Booyah. It's not a bad little way to grind experience in gold if you're looking to do such a thing. Anyway... <clears throat> Excuse me. I found ya! Where'd you go? It's locked! What the heck? What are these guys doing? This is ridiculous. Oh my god. Koopo! Alright. Koopo yourself. Koopo! Man, I feel bad if somebody's like watching this while sleeping and that part suddenly woke them up. You know? If that happened, get out of your bed and come over here and leave a comment to tell me that I did that to you. I'm just kidding. Go back to sleep. It's okay. Anyway, we rescued him, yep. Where's he going? He's going to his house, probably, you know. It's all like Hoopapo. Looks like he's telling us we can use this stuff. Well, that's cool. Got an ether. Got a phoenix down. Got 10,000 gil. Got one gil. Dancing Dagger, whoa, oh, hang on. Let me see something here. Oh, baby! You don't need a dancer to use this. You just need a hot girl, that's all. Didn't we just get done with that discussion? Didn't we say we weren't gonna talk about that anymore? Look at these guys. Oh my god, Koopo. 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 It's like trying to catch chocobos all up in here. It's a Moogle. What? Suit? Put on the Moogle suit? Hell yeah! <laughs> oh my god, that'll never cease to be funny in that Final Fantasy VI LP. When I had the Moogle suit on and I was like, why is Mog in the party? And I thought the game was bugging out. Aww. <laughs> She's in love with a costume. This, my friends, is why you don't cosplay! I'm just kidding. Another elf cape, though. Let me see, who could use that? Perhaps you? No, that's too good. I mean, the 25% dodge is too good. I can't give it up! Wait, so are we done here then? I think we are. I'm gonna try to leave. Uh oh. Maybe not. Maybe not. Well, I had to get rid of that costume somehow. The only way to do it was to go out into the woods and run around until it got caught on enough branches to get torn off of me. Kubo! What is it doing? He's communicating telepathically with a Moogle across the world. And guess who knows how to talk to Moogles? What is it? Why are you so upset? Kubo! Kubo, please! Koo, please! We must hurry and find a way to get to the woods where our friends are. I'm trying to think of a word that starts with P so I can put Koo before it and be funny. Moogles can use telecopathy. 
Even when they're recuperated, they can talk with their minds. The Moogle Village, that's far away. Yes, and the Hiryu can't fly anymore. Hiryu's like, what are you talking about? I can fly. Hiryu, thank you. He'll fly just this once. Are you sure that's safe? That's right, because remember now, we got blown away from the castle by that barrier. So we don't really know where we are. We don't have any way out. So to speak. From where we are. Sort of. So. <laughs> so the dragon's gonna be our way out. Only, he can't find us. <laughs> it's such a big forest, you know. I wonder where the Moogle forest is. It's all around you, girl! Look around! Koopapo! What? The nose? And then suddenly there's an 8-bit Moogle outside. How did that happen? I don't know. Yeah, I go to the nose. What, they don't let the player figure this out? Oh, jeez. Okay. So this will be the second time now that we've been rescued by this... Kara. She seems to be a more important character than I realized. Hmm. Just can't quite put my finger on it. We gotta return to the castle. Which castle? I don't even know where we started here. You're not talking about Xdeath's castle, right? You're not talking about that castle that I walked past on the way here. I really hope not. Anyway, well, she's taking us home. And since the player doesn't know the way there... Ah, I like the way the Moogles wave to that epic music. This is so good. I'm not controlling this. This is the game. Hi, sand crawlers. You can't get us now. You can't get us. Ha ha. We're 50 feet above the ground. Or 100 feet, maybe. Anyway. Well, cool. So what now? I need to go let the hero you rest. Okay. Uh, hope he's alright. They said he shouldn't be flying, so... There's a bit of a risk coming out here to get us. But he seems to be okay, so... It all paid off. It's so good. We got lucky, though. As we always do in these games. King Gallop. King? Which makes me a sortified prince. You all did great while I was away. See, this is why Gallop deserves to be a king. Look how supportive he is of his soldiers. He bows to them, not them to him. What's going on with X Death? There have been no significant movements since the barrier's completion. I see, and our army? We're down to 15%. 15. I apologize, sir. These tomato heads, I tell ya. I mean, look at them, their heads look like tomatoes. And I thought you were just an old man. You were a king? Well, so I am. That's a hell of a thing to forget. Boy, now this one's a shock. You've done great, everyone. Take a break now. See, once again, he told them again, they're doing great. That's how a king should be to his soldiers. Give them the compliments, tell them they're doing great. You don't need to keep some princess around and give them a hard-on. That's not how you encourage soldiers. All that does is make them lethargic and crush their dreams, because eventually they're going to realize they can't be the one. They're not going to be the one who's in the princess's bed with her that night. They're going to be in their own beds. So I'm just kidding, well then I have to dress you, maybe King Gallif. He's like, shut up, I hate formalities. Just Gallif will do. You can call me Luke. You're the king of Bal. That's a weird name for a place. Gallif, king of Bal. Gal rules Bal. I guess the gals rule the balls, after all. Alright, Tomato Head, what's up? Please take the exit spell that you forgot to take with you. Hero drink. You mean this down here? 
Exit! Well, it's too bad I don't have a white mage. Also, maybe I could use that. It's okay, though. That would actually be pretty useful. The big bridge is completely protected by the barrier. If the hero can't fly, there's no way to get to Exodus Castle. How unfortunate indeed. How's it going, Mookster? Kubo! Princess Karakens. Princess! Isn't she like a grand princess or something? Well, even better, I suppose. Can I sleep in the bed? Princess Kara is a very good child. She has the same spirit as her grandfather. What? Same spirit? How can they have the same spirit unless they're like the same person? Hmm. This is actually pretty good music. I wasn't sure at first when I heard it, but yeah, I kind of like it. It's no Figaro theme, to be sure, but... Kara? What's wrong? What's wrong, baby girl? The hero is dying. What happened to him? He probably pushed himself too hard to, deliver to come to rescue your stupid ass. He's overstrained himself. He really shouldn't have been flying injured, but he flew to help us. Isn't there any way we can save him? Here you plant. Oh, great. Let's go run over some more poison grass. Let's do this whole thing again. Except this time, let's make an entire side quest out of it. I didn't mean to skip the text so fast there, sorry about that. First, let's bow our heads and pray to the Lord. Dear Lord, please bless us in our quest to find the hero you plant to save the dragon. And since this is the last time, please let it be a good and long one. Because it's very unpredictable when they're going to come back. Just thank you, Lord, and help me to make the right sacrifices to pay for all this. In Jesus' name, amen. Ugh. Oh. And the reason I say sacrifices to pay for all this is because most of it's going to be complaining. Anyway. <laughs> oh my god, how weird is that, though? When you really think about it, you know, the fact that that I recorded myself saying a prayer and actually went back and listened to it. Makes me wonder if I prayed along with my past self to help him get his wish. Oh, my, my. The door to the basement won't open no matter what you do. Well, we'll see about that, won't we? Let's see what's going on down here. Basement 2, huh? What do we got here? Watch from the inside. Sakura! Oh, Sakura, are you in here? Sakura's not gonna be here. We're in the wrong game, dude. Anyway, we have statues. Also, we don't have blue on him anymore. It's okay, it's totally worth it. Level 5 Doom will take him out. Uh, but more importantly, if you have a thief, come down here and you can steal twin lances from them. It's a very good weapon. Unfortunately, we don't have anyone who could use it, and even if we did, we don't have the thief to seal it, so never mind. But look at that gold, though. An 8 ABP for so little effort. You can get 8 ABP for battle. So by far, best grinding spot ever. Highly recommended. Sometimes you might run into just two of them, in which case you get 4 AP. Which is still not bad, considering how little effort it takes to kill them. Plus you get a little bit of gold, too. Everything will be just fine until King Galif comes back. King Galif, man. You can't get used to that. It's been a pretty good castle so far. Well, just wait, because there's more. Never seen again. It's Kara's parents. We do have an inn here. Yeah, I suppose it's worth a stop. Oh my god, I can't believe it. We all slept the entire night. Boy, that sure doesn't happen that much these days. Considering what we're going through here, too. Alright, what do you got? Ooh, you got Revivifies, huh? You know... I'll buy eight of those. Let's see... High Potion, Potion... Oh, we can buy High Potions here! Oh my gosh, dude! How many do we have? We have seven? Let's get three more. Those are a little expensive, but... It's not the end of the world. How are we doing on Phoenix Downs? We'll get two... 
about potions? Just regular potions, we still... When it comes to healing off outside of battle, there's still no better way. Still no cost-effective way. It's like you're talking about 40 gil... 40 gil for 50 HP. Or 360 for whatever a high potion gives you. Which might be 500, actually. But then, like, what if you're missing 400 HP? You would still want to use a high potion, in which case you only get 400 out of it. So I don't know, I mean... Is it necessarily better? Well, that depends. It depends on whether it's actually 500 HP, which I assume it is, but I couldn't be certain. Eh, what else we got here? It's slumber. Same thing as the other shop, really. Alright, well that's kind of a relief. What about you? Same as before. Oh, gold stuff. Tricorn? So I didn't know Trihex was in here. Gee. Um... Yeah, I'll, I'll take two. I don't think headgear has really been a big deal up to this point. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, it's worth it. There you go, Lena. That one extra defense point, I'll tell you what. Should I go ahead and sell this? I mean, if only the dancer can use it, all it's gonna do is clutter up the inventory. It's the same with the shurikens, we're just gonna have to part with them. As much as I hate it. I don't know why I still have one of these in here. Oh, didn't I? Because I found a knife that was better. We'll go ahead and sell it. I guess I'll sell this too. Alright, and then one more of these for whoever I didn't equip it on. Oh, that would be really good for her, yeah. Alright, sell the green barrette, or the plume hat rather. Got more guy gears here. I had enough of those already. Gauntlet? Oh yeah. Definitely get that for Mr. Galifson. What else is he missing from the gold set here? Oh jeez. Everything. <laughs> Wait, what did I just get? Oh crap though. Well I can give the elf cape to someone else, can't I? Does anybody else even have? She's got power. I might end up giving it to her then. Well she's got silver. Well, no, you know what? I'll give it back to her, then. It's a little less defense, but... Huh. Still, 25% evade! That's what I'm talking about. Sparks and Lena are back to being the Dodgers again. Yeah, that's good. Anything else? I don't really... Well, hang on. Is Galf using a single-handed... He doesn't have a shield at all, does he? Hang on a second here. Oh my god, dude! Seriously, definitely... Wait, does that mean... Oh, no, it doesn't. If I gave him that shield and the elf cape, would he have 55% evade? I don't know, but sometimes it feels like I already have 55% evade, if I'm being honest here. Let's see, uh, time magic spells. Oh, I wish. Actually, I don't wish. We're fine enough the way we are. Okay. And then up here... There's a lot going on here, let me tell you. Da -da -da -da. We can go through here, actually. Come back down. And say hi to this guy. Be quick, Optimus, Alexi, blah, 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 blah. Why are you tutorial people all the way out this late in the game? Angel suit. Hang on. What is that? Oh my gosh. Uh, well, since I'm not going to be using Titan, you know, that's totally worth it. Boom! Hey guys! Hey, this is supposed to be off limits. Welcome! <laughs> come one, come all! Guys, I'm trying to help out here! T but I'm cute! I'll make the customers come in. What's wrong? But here, since you came here, you should come here. What? Lamia Harp? Okay. More bard stuff that we don't need. Okay, though. I mean, at least we got it. Alright, so up one side, down the other. Man, I feel like we've been just all through this castle. Of course, it is Gallop's castle. It's one out of the four characters you have in the game. It would make sense to spend a lot of time on his home, you know, that you're getting, you're being introduced to his home. Okay, if I wanted to go back, I'd just hit that right there, so. I, I think... I'm about 
92% sure about that. Which is a weird number, I know, but it was also a very good year. So I'll put my bets on that. What are the odds that 92% is the correct answer there? What are the odds that hitting that switch gives you a 92% chance of going back where you just came from inside the castle? That's what I want to know. Does that even work? Do odds work in layers like that? Let's see, we're missing. Here we go. EP was in the water. That's a sword. So I guess I really didn't need to buy this at all. Because, man, look at this. We're just getting upgrade after upgrade. We're not even playing Final Fantasy anymore. We're playing Weapon Clicker. You know? Alright, let's see if that 92% was right. Flush the toilet. <laughs> Well, that means there's a 92% chance that my 92% statement was correct. That's actually right, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know if it was or not. Anyway, um, we're pretty much down here. Open the doors! Yes, but outside the gate, the monsters were out. Immediately shut the gates and seal them tight. Lock us out? Wow. It's very brave of us, isn't it? Brave Exvius. I've never played that. I've heard it's pretty good, though. Alright, then. Please take care, you guys. Don't do anything rash. It's fine. Just shut the gates and seal them tight. Yes, sir. King Gallop, please be careful. We'll be fine. Jeez. Don't you worry your pretty little faces. Here they are. Get ready, everyone. Well, I thought we were just going to step outside. Okay. Well, what are you doing here, Abductor? I've seen you before. Uh, let's hit you. Boo-boo. Bart's, I really need you to be in the front row here. I don't know why I haven't moved you. Oh, I should have terrained there. What? Is that a dance? Oh, the dancing dagger. I realized that could happen. So even if you don't have a dancer, you can still... Oh my god. How else can we cheat this? <laughs> let's find out. Well, first of all, let's kill this doofus. That was good. I mean, for a back row attack to be doing 200 damage, it's pretty freaking good. Well, this is not the same as that other guy, is it? Because that other guy only had like a thousand HP. This guy's probably got two million or something. Oh, that works. There you go, dude. Victory! Oh, that was fun. But we still haven't seen, like, where we are in the overworld. If you press Y, though, you can still look at the map. Amazingly. Okay, so we started on the southeast in Exodus Castle. We went to the bridge that you can't really see on the map, but it's there. And we went west, so we got blown away to the continent to the north, and we passed that town, we passed the castle, went through the desert. We covered quite a bit of this world already now. It's funny to think we've already seen half of it. That's okay though. So from here we're gonna head north to the... to get that grass, and I'm gonna check down here first. Well, first things first here, I'm gonna save, because holy moly, man. I'm curious what's down there, but uh, maybe we'll look at that later. Oh man, what do we got here? Nothing a little terrain can't handle. Or a little blue. Okay. Okay. 373 experience for that? We didn't even do anything. We... Okay, I'm thinking maybe I should set everyone's second ability to terrain here. Well, not everyone's Master Geomancer, though. Oh man, poison mist. I've seen that before. I don't know, I guess it poisons. Pour a little water on that, make it better. You don't need water. You don't need H2O to make the poison better. You need H2O2. But I'm not I don't have a spell to cast that, so. He's running away. He's like, I'm going to a doctor, dude. Let's stick around this. Jeez. Alright. Good deal, good deal indeed. Except first we got a little village we gotta visit on the way there. 
And hooray, music again! We should be able to go through the Valley of the Hiryu through the gate to the north end of this village. Okay. Kelgar's house, what a coincidence. It's locked. Well, anybody in the fireplace? <laughs> what was that? I heard a fart. Somebody is in this house. Yup. Like, oh no. Oh no. Who the? Barks, hold it. They're my friends. Friends? They're not acting like it much right now. Galif? Kalgar! It's been a while. How many people do you know? Well, of course, this is his world, it would make sense. The warriors that fought against Exta 30 years ago, yep. This is your Braska, right here, Lord Braska. Mm hmm. Maybe he's more like Sir Jekt, to be honest, I don't know. Galif's like, no! Bars is like, okay, hey, I gotta prove myself here. Let him, let him attack me. I'll show him who's boss. Let's find out what's in your heart. Besides cholesterol. Bart's is like, I don't need you girls, to, I can handle this. I'm a single white male who don't need no woman. Or a strong independent, never mind. Lupine attack, ooh. Oh, great tiger. It's you. Wait a minute though. Bart's is concentrating here. Uppercut! <laughs> ding ding ding! TKO! Bart, you asshole! He was my friend! It's like, I don't care. I'm just leaving the house. Go fend for yourself. Anyway. Oh man, did I hurt him that bad? Jeez. Kelgar. Your old body can't take that much. You evaded my lupine attack. You're pretty good. Hey, didn't I say so? It's a technique I learned from my father. What's your father's name? Dorgan! <laughs> of course! What's both of you? The son of Dorgan. You know my father? Yes, we know him. Dorgan, along with Kelgar, Ziza, and myself, fought together in battles against Exa 30 years ago. He's one of the four warriors of dawn. That explains it. The age difference, of course. I mean, not that the fact that my father was 30 years older than me needed explaining or anything, but. I could definitely see this being like a dawn sort of music. Warriors of dawn theme. Oh man. Wow, when you look at it like this, Gallif seems so out of place. Like, hey, he's my party, not yours. It's always that way when you have like one familiar character surrounded by three unfamiliar characters and they're trying to make it look like he's part of that group. It's always weird. Can't think of anything specific. Like another specific example of that particular phenomenon, but. What's up? Well, they're sealing him. Not sure exactly where, but. Here they go. So that's what they did. They didn't want to deal with him, so they sent him back to our world. Or they sent him off to our world, basically. I mean, I guess honestly, they figured he would never get out anyway, and it was probably safer to do that. I mean, how were they supposed to know, you know? So you insist on staying. I must. Yup. But why? Because I fell in love with a gun. 
So, why'd you leave? <laughs> was arranged by her family, she met someone else. If you fought Sato, you think your father would have been referee? No. No referee. Then how do you know who wins? The one who did, doesn't. Well, that's it, that was my dad that stayed behind in this world. Just to make sure everything was okay. How very noble of him indeed. Thank goodness I had a human dad. It would suck to have a wolf dad. Be persecuted all your life. Have people trying to gun you down for your meat. At least as you ever, when you're a human, you have people trying to suck your meat. And that feels much better than getting gunned down does. You guys all just need to get together and take a vacation to the Bahamas, is what you need to do. Hmm, that's too bad. Oh, that's a chimney. <laughs> I'm still just in love with this theme, I don't know, man. Oh my. Well? I'll check it out. I'll bite. Not sure what you're driving at here, but... Ooh. It's a pretty fair trade. It does give you more strength, but... That's irrelevant for Lena. Bart's, on the other hand, though? I mean, you're basically trading off an even amount of defense. Or magic defense for straight-up defense. Get a little strength out of it and one magic power, which is not gonna matter that much anyway. So yeah. But if you put him in the front row, that would actually help. So yeah, I can live with that. Ah, I'm not gonna worry about selling at this point. So what we got for weapons here? Venom? Oh my. Uh, shuriken, oh man. I'll take one, just in case, I don't know. I mean, what's it gonna do, really? I believe we are good. So I don't really think there's anything else here. Uh, some weird noises. Frog. Ah, oh, hello. Don't you bring me a frog? I really want one. So there is a job in this game that captures monsters, like a Pokemon, basically. And then you release them to have them attack. You know, whatever. And, um... The point of that guy that came out of the well was to make it easier to catch monsters. If you do what he asks, catch a frog and bring it to him, then he gives you that item that some other person in the village was talking about, and it makes it so that the catch rate, you catch them when they're down to like half of their HP instead of what it would normally be, which is you can only catch them at one-eighth of their HP. So if you're, a, if you're the kind of person to which your main goal is to catch them all. That's probably something you would want to get. Anyway. North! To Alaska! God rest his soul. Howie was an interesting singer at karaoke. He would always sing that song. Alright, well, next time on Final Fantasy V, we shall climb Hear You Mountain and get his meds. Because Kroger's closed already and we can't get him there. So... See you later, guys.